but it's not very common, but it can occur. Uh, and of course, the last type of medication I mentioned are the antihypertensive drugs, the alpha-2 agonists, guanfacine XR and clonidine XR. Uh, my opinion here is that these are third choice medications because you see here that they're not producing the degree of effect uh, that is improvement in behavior that you would get with a stimulant, which you see over here, or with atomoxetine. Uh, but again, about 50 to 65% of people report a reduction in symptoms, even if it's not as striking as with a stimulant. Uh, we also find that because of sedation, uh, some people are reporting improved behavior that mainly has to do with this kind of sed uh, sedative effect of improving impulsivity, lowering hyperactivity uh, because of the sedation produced by the drug. Uh, these drugs can be combined with stimulants to get broader coverage of the symptom profile of the individual, not recommended routinely, of course, but off-label clinicians certainly have been doing that in my experience. And the manufacturers have done safety studies uh, showing that uh, they can be safely combined, but not an awful lot of research on that at the moment. Uh, ideally, I think these drugs work well for reducing hyperactivity, oppositionality, explosive uh, or reactive aggressive behavior, but not quite as good at improving school productivity, performance, uh, and working memory and the other uh, executive functions. These drugs, of course, might be useful in the case of pre-existing tics or Tourette syndrome, because not only do they not increase tics, they're actually used as treatment for tic disorders. Uh, and certainly no possibility of increasing anxiety uh, with these as there might be with a stimulant uh, medication. Uh, so uh, also as with atomoxetine, the drug could be given at bedtime to help induce sleep in a child who has pre-existing sleep onset problems or insomnia. Now, here's some of the side effects seen with guanfacine uh, and to a little bit more uh, commonly with guanfacine, or excuse me, with clonidine. Again, the principal side effect, as you see up here, is a sleepiness of the individual, particularly during the first few weeks of titration of the medication, but also a not insignificant uh, number complaining uh, about uh, headache and to a lesser extent, abdominal pain. And then of course, far fewer people complaining of these side effects from the alpha-2 drugs. The side effects do decrease over time, but can last longer than that. Uh, and if necessary, monitoring blood levels of guanfacine, uh, particularly if it is being combined with the anticonvulsant of uh, valproic acid, valproate. Uh, and of course, a recommendation not to combine this drug uh, with uh, Abilify. So uh, those are your medications. Those are the drug classes. Those are our behavioral effects and side effects. Overall, I think a pretty good risk benefit ratio for these medications compared to other psychiatric drugs. Uh, now there has been a big push over the past five years to identify ADHD children earlier 